Hey, what's up everybody? Thank you for tuning into the Couch Beauty Corpse channel again. My name is Andres and today we're back with another Titans episode reaction. Today's episode is number three. All right, so keeping with today's theme and the title of today's episode, just like last time, we got Dove Colors right here. We got Hank, AKA Hawk Colors right here. And that makes me excited because these are my second favorite characters in the show, I think. Uh, first being Jason slash Red Hood. Uh, I think Jason's up here. Hawk and Dove are down here, second place, because they've had some really, really good episodes and like some real emotional episodes too. Some really good writing, some good interactions. I think next would probably be Nightwing. I love his character. I love his his progression. It's been amazing. Uh, then probably Starfire, then Raven, then Beast Boy, then actually no, I like. I like Connor, Connor Leslie's uh, Donna Troy, she's up there, then Beast Boy, and then Superboy. So that's my order. So I'm really excited for today's episode. Last episode was really good. Uh, I definitely enjoyed it. It was a big step up from the first episode, I think. Uh, the first episode was, it had it was kind of weak, honestly. First beginning of it was weak, middle was great, ending was weak. Second episode was great. I was blown away at how good Red Hood was portrayed. Like, Karen Walters, he mastered it. Like, <laughs> you could tell he's done so much research. You could tell he's put everything into this character. Um, just by the way he talked, I know I touched on it before, but like, he embodied Red Hood. He had the, he was just a different character from when he played Robin. Like, he had the confidence the just the way he spoke even sounded like how red hood sounded in the animated series and he just brought that character to life and i love i love 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 what they're doing with him um only gripe i had with the episode was the ending which is that they kind of revealed i feel they revealed jason um red hood's identity too quick um so i, I feel like it kind of took the punch out of it um i just wish they would have had more interactions and more things happening before they even knew that he was jason to kind of i know i don't know like make the reveal a lot more hurtful and like shocking to the characters but hey what do you know i i there might be some things in future episodes that might touch on that and there might be some different ways they handle it so hold my judgment on this so yeah i mean the show's looking up it looks like it's getting better and better we had some good interactions like always between nightwing and and barbara those are good um just overall episode was great um definitely a solid episode like an eight but today's episode looks like it's going to be focused around hawk and dove which is good for me and i'm gonna stop talking and we're gonna get into this episode all right and play. I love that sound. I'm beginning to love it. Oh, shit. Damn, they starting off like that. Ah, shit. Damn, poor dick, yeah. What took you so long? I got a new name now, though. Really? Shit, there's nothing in there. I like that they're kind of going along with the comics. Um, it's pretty cool. I know, I think in the Jason's comics, um, Jason's body. Ra's al Ghul was the one that Maybe took his body, but Bruce do the who thing. knows? I don't want to see it, but it was Jason. I saw him. Somebody do some kind of voodoo act and raise him from the dead? 
Where's Snow's people? Bruce doesn't know anything about this. He never would have killed the Joker if Jason was alive. Then where's Al Ghul? Unlikely. He's in Kadeem. If someone's bringing people back to life, maybe they can bring Donna back. Well, it's a little early for Easter, but someone resurrected a little last fight. Or he faked his death well enough to fool even Bruce. I still, I still don't like how they're glossing over how Bruce killed the fucking Joker. I think that's always gonna bother me. I think. Jason's out there, and we need to stop him. Or you guys do what you want, but if it ends up him versus me, kid's going down. He always had a thing against Jason. We need to give everybody a minute to get their heads around this. We all thought Jason was dead, and now we're talking about him like he's some Gotham supervillain. I think you mean supervillain wannabe. I keep forgetting, this is Jason we're talking about. It makes it complicated for everybody. This is like, yeah. damn, I know he was annoying, but... I know I fucked up. Please, you gotta help me out. Is anybody else with you? No, just me. Talk to me, pal. I don't know what's happening to me. Something's wrong with me. Is this real or like? Where are you? Is he just playing? I can't tell you. Or oh, Jason, Jason, wait. I can help you. Just tell me where you are. Send message <laughs> to Bruce Wayne. No contact found. Bullshit. Language, <laughs> Mr. Logan. Do you prefer French? Record audio message. Ready to record. Hey, Bruce. You gotta come back to Gotham, man. They're saying Jason's alive. I need your help. Really think he's gonna hear that? Between sipping martinis, I figure he's got time. Just under 48 hours ago, we were kicking ass in San Francisco. Now, the whole world is turned upside down. Hey, are we going anywhere or are you just seeing the sights? I'll let you know. Just keep driving. <laughs> I would have kicked his ass out later. Get the fuck out of my cab, bro. <laughs> so. Where are we going? Go to the old Gotham Observatory. Gotham Observatory. Tourist. <laughs> Got him. Set him up. There better be a chalupa at the end of this. Gotham City Gym. You sure? Board of Health closed it down last month. Let's go! <laughs> yeah, he's giving that cabbie a run the run around like <laughs> he's like yo get the fuck out of my cab already bro <laughs> i'm here where are you take off your shirt and pants to prove you're not wired come on really now swim to the other end and this shit all right no more games i'm here good to see you hank Resident accounted for. Hey. What happened? Just get it out of me. Oh, what the fuck? Is that a bomb? Holy shit. It's a gift. From our pal Jason. Just give me a shot of whiskey and get the damn thing out. I'm all for not touching that thing until we figure out how it works. Connor, take a look inside and tell us what we're dealing with. Yeah. Flying with lead. Oh no. <laughs> wow. This is pretty bitchin'. Connor! Um, <clears throat> it has anti-retraction barbs that hold the device in place. It looks like it's embedded in the pectoralis major right through to the aortic arch. No part of that sounded good. The bomb's designed to tolerate insertion, not retraction. Ah, <laughs> nice, that's cool. These barbs in Hank's chest. They have sensors. If those sensors detect too much force, it'll explode. This whole thing is engineered to read EKG signals. The countdown is in seconds. It's, it's the number of heartbeats he has left. How much time do we have left? The average resting heart rate is 80 beats per minute. Oh, mine's a little closer to 72. 4,300 beats per hour, that's less than four hours. We play our game, not his. Our game is to save Hank, not Jason. It's not one or the other. Nightwing, man, you gotta do what's right. You gotta try to save everybody. Shit. Ah, oh, look at little crypto. <laughs> Took my eye off the ball. I knew he was going with me. It wasn't your fault. Grace. And they say there's no such thing as a merciful God. Eighth of Lemon Lyric. 
High grade sativa, back crafted, blue dream F1. It's good shit. <laughs> or so I'm told. You got some dealers out here, yeah? <laughs> I don't think our guy's working alone. Someone's got his ear. I need a profile. Maybe he's looking for a father figure. Sure. To fill the void. You know, but a daddy that flew the coop. Or to replace a daddy he's rebelling against. This search for daddy is going to affect everything. How he fights, why he fights. Meaning? Meaning that he's in a battle with his father. So he's going to use the weapons of his father. This guy's up to something, Brandon. You already know it. He's behind everything, probably. NSA database. Scarecrow. Paul. Bruce is making weapons to kill people? Good question. Search explosives, EKG. Anything surgical. On it. I got a hit. Surgical EKG detonation implant, Wayne Tech. Patented and everything. Specs are there? What the Reading fuck? <laughs> I love that. Yeah, that they get his hey, super hey, speed. I need you to build a deactivator using these blueprints. You read through those schematics faster than any human ever could. You can do this. Wait, reading reading is just assimilating other people's work. You want me to build something this complex in less than three hours? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, silver boy, you got this. <laughs> you got this. <laughs> <laughs> you see? <laughs> I don't know why Bruce would have made that. What's the purpose of using that? I wanted the Titans out of Gotham, but instead I get one rising from the dead. My lucky day. Jason's not a Titan anymore, and there's no way he pulled this off on his own. Let's Can you please go into an office I need to with a door closed and speak about this? <laughs> like, yeah, you know, you're giving up all this information. I mean, I guess she Starfire is known, He's right? So. So everybody knows her all the identity or whatever. So I guess this one's more warranted, but I don't know. It's always funny to me how they're just talking out loud like that. What are you calculating? Data blockers. I think we can bump you up to 10 milligrams. So how much time does that buy me? 20 minutes? Maybe more if I watch golf? <laughs> Yo, Crypto. Yo, he fishing me up some hot dogs. <laughs> See if you can sniff out some bourbon while you're at it. That's a good dog right there. Alfred recently at the pearly gates. I'm not telling him he's got some competition. You're not meeting Alfred. Why? You think he's in hell? Stop. You think I'm going to hell? I'm going I don't know. That's I was a bad man, I'd say. Can you stop? Please. Please. You're gonna make it. This guy, man, he's just deflecting and shit, yeah. The original deactivator functions remotely. <laughs> I love that super speed shit, man. It's so dope. Charge. I like how they're making him smart too. Like, or over 1.5 million permutations. He's just not dumb, you know. Because he, I mean, he does have Maybe Lex Luthor smarts, you know, because he's half Lex Luthor and half Superman. That's pretty cool that they're playing off that. Thanks for the reminder. Can you pull up the morgue Tuesday morning? Zero seven hundred. Love me a little morgue in the morning. <laughs> that guy. Back it up. Baseball hat. But he's supposed to be wheeling the body out back. This is a door to the coroner's locker room. Check the locker room back exit. Camera was out. Our friend covered his tracks. All right, back inside. Find the next time we spot him. There you go. I like that. She scrolled. I hate when movies do like, and then they go to the next thing. Get to the other side of this, you can convince Dick to move back. What the fuck is happening to her, yo? Him and me both. Just going insane. Baseball fanboys <laughs> coming out of the back door. Four minutes later. Plenty of time to take Jason's body out of there. Who the hell is that? Hey, what's up? Video footage of one of Jason's henchmen helped him disappear from the morgue. Cyrus Beak. Famous Cyrus Beak lives at 622 Logan Street. All right, I'm on. I gotta go. Corey's got a lead on Jason. How good a lead? Look, we're moving on all fronts. Connor's running at full speed. I'm closing in on Jason. We're gonna get this. Tell Hank. Tell Hank I'll call him. Back up. Man, 
Those wings are sick. <laughs> That's kind of a dumb plan by her, though. Because they could, they could just say that the Titans hijacked the fucking armored truck. <laughs> just playing right into Jason's hands, man. Oh my <laughs> Wanna sleep over? On the couch, that's all. Oh, is that all? Oh, it's beautiful. They pair for life. Henry, old man. The boys have got the catamaran island. They're just waiting on their captain. Thank you, Garfield. <laughs> Let the boys know we'll take her out tonight. <laughs> they got good relationships, man. Think this place has a big enough chandelier. Hey, when bats have sex, they gotta have something. <laughs> <laughs> I think my boy Beast Gotham Boy got the Jordan one. Bruce's on? mask. You hung up the suit. You were out. Maybe it's a sign. That you should have never left DC. But I never should have left my family. That's not what you do. No matter what. So what? This is. This is karma. I don't know. But I'm not ready to go. Ah oh, man, I fucking hope they don't kill him, man. I'll be pissed, yeah. This is not my time yet. I got too much left to do. And so do you. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Counting on you bozos to get me out of this mess. Damn, I'll be pissed, yo. They can't do my boy Keeping like this, sales. yo. I'm gonna hold you to that. So you got the main sale, sense. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh, shit. Oh, that's that bleak dude. Imagine he stole his wallet. <laughs> Take the money that he had. Show me your face. We end this now. Damn. He just Mark, left him at? right there on the floor? <laughs> Holy shit. Call Hank. This is about the pay-per-view. It was all Don's idea. I deny everything. <laughs> How are you feeling, buddy? You know, pal? I gotta say. I'm pretty goddamn scared. Hank. I... No. You're doing your best by me. Always have. I'm on my way to see Jason. I'm gonna take care of this. Yeah, about that. You gotta promise not to wreck this all for me. Jason needs to be stopped. Yeah. Maybe what happened to him is on us. But you cannot let him tear this family apart. We worked too goddamn hard to build it. I don't know if I'll be eating pizza tomorrow, but I'll be damned if I'm the reason the Titans go down. It's funny that he no says that I'm gonna be eating pizza tomorrow. Extra large Hawaiian and add jalapeno. <laughs> Cause he was a Ninja Turtle. <laughs> That's hilarious. He was Raphael in, uh, in the, the newest Ninja Turtles. It might want to take him outside and like put him in a shed or something. Cause just in case he blows the fuck up, he's gonna blow up in the, inside the house. <laughs> I mean, that's just me. <laughs> get there eventually <laughs> this guy's amazing oh, Hank's gonna blow soon so who's it gonna be babe me or him Don. don't who invited that guy what did you do What he wants. Let him have it. Guard, talk to me. He's almost got it. Don, we're almost there. I can't wait anymore. Hank, hold on. I don't know, buddy. Or you. You gotta get out of here. Take crypto with you. 
this won't fix anything. Come on, man. Don't fucking let him die, man. Please. <laughs> If you do this, he wins. He won't save Hank. He's lying. Hey, bad boy. She's a grown-ass <laughs> woman. Let her make her own decision. Go home. Oh, no. Don't do this. Oh, they let me go. Don't kill my boy, man. Go. Nice. Hunter's got it. Done. <laughs> Oops. My bad. Looks like I gave you the detonator. No, 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 no. No! The fuck! Are you kidding me? Damn. Jason fucked up, man. Damn, redhead. Superboy just like walk right into it like it kind of oh fuck man. This shit is mad reminiscent of like when Superman was in the courtroom and Batman vs Superman just like he couldn't do anything to stop it damn man why do you do it like that yeah <laughs> fuck <laughs> Well, there you have it. <laughs> Fuck, man. Why did he get to kill my guy, man? Why you doing Hawk like that, man? That sucks. He was such a good character. Fuck, man. That sucks, man. <sighs> good episode, though. I gotta say. <laughs> it was good. I can't lie. So this... I was kind of worried of how... Like, the early reveal of Jason would impact the rest of the show because I feel like he could have did all this stuff, like the shocking things, like killing people, or like he could have did this before he was revealed, revealed. But I think this is good also because it kind of makes Jason go from Jason to Red Hood to like an actual villain, you know? And I felt like, for be, like before this episode, I felt like, Damn, it was too early. Like, not, not, enough, not enough things happened for them to be like, oh, shit, Jason, you know? Like, but now that they kind of, like, put this episode out, you can kind of see that Jason is going to be doing evil shit. Keep going, keep going until they can stop him. Like, so this is not bad. I like this. I like this different type of version of it. And it's, it's working so far. I definitely enjoyed that. Because now, now Jason's a villain. He has no remorse. He doesn't give a shit. Like whatever trace of him was left that was Jason is gone and now he's just Red Hood now. So <clears throat> and making Dawn pull the trigger. Dove basically like scarring her pretty much for life now. Because she just ultimately just killed her lo the love of her life. So Jason is cold blooded now. He's not Jason anymore. He's Red Hood. And I think that's cool. I think that's a good direction to take this in. Uh, because if it was just a reveal like that so soon in the second episode and then they didn't build on it making him more of a threat to the titans or more of a threat to gotham it would have been kind of ass so i definitely enjoyed that man that was fucked up man <laughs> it's it's fucked up to see how superboy was like in the blast you know like he he's gonna have some traumas like from this he's gonna be suffering a lot from this because he was able to figure it out but he just wasn't fast enough you know to like save hank's life and the little shot of like crypto coming out of the smoke like damn that shit hurt that's so sad like and like i said before and during the episode like my microphone turned off so i'm just gonna be speaking into this <laughs> my microphone died <laughs> so hello reporting live from my couch <laughs> but like i was saying before that shit died um <clears throat> It was very reminiscent of Batman versus Superman when, when Superman was in the courtroom and the bomb went off and you could just feel the pain because like in that scene he couldn't do anything because he didn't see it, you know? So 
it, it's a it's a good little like parallel it's super dope and it's it was a good episode man i liked it i enjoyed it it seems like the episodes are getting better um writing wise they're getting better uh flow is still flowing nice it's not jumping all over the place it's following of story um and yeah i just can't wait to see what's next honestly and um i don't know it's gonna be good i think i think this season is gonna be amazing and i hope we get at least 14 episodes 15 episodes i'll be happy with that so we can kind of get some story arcs some fleshing out some surprises some good deep storytelling like it's gonna be awesome i think this season is gonna be good it's shaping up to be great so far everything's been uh going up from the first episode so that's only a plus uh but yeah reporting live from my couch channel channel corpse <laughs> so yeah appreciate it i'm talking into my mic right here because i need to charge it <laughs> but yeah i appreciate everybody tuning in if you stay this far into the video consider giving it get a thumbs up consider subscribing if you haven't already it'll mean a lot to me and i really appreciate it and share this con channel with your friends share this content with your friends or share with people that you think might like this type of stuff um it means a lot to me and i would appreciate it so let me know what you thought about the episode are you crushed is your heart broken for hank because that fucking sucked for me <laughs> i really really liked him and i wish they would have just didn't kill him but his death means more to the season and hopefully they play on that and they just don't gloss over that shit like how batman killed the joker they're glossing over it <laughs> but yeah comment what you thought about the episode theories whatever you want to talk about dc shit titans let's get into it um but yeah like always guys appreciate it and until i see you on the next video peace